as of today we will discuss the verbal and non verbal communication so look at the definition of the verbal communication the verbal communication is the use of auditory language to exchange information with other people it includes sounds words or speaking uh, tone volume and pitch of one's voice to make verbal communication effective so tone volume and pitch of one voice uh, one voice is needed is necessary uh, is necessary uh, to make necessary to make verbal communication effective so the so verbal communication means the interchange of informations with other people uh, with uh, sounds words or sounds also so the tone volume of pitch plays a vital role to make a verbal communication effective to make verbal communication effective so volume so the tone volume and pitch of a particular persons is very much necessary to make verbal communication effective now look at the definition of the non-verbal communication so non-verbal communication is the communication between people through non-verbal or visual cues so uh, it includes gesture facial expressions body movement anything that communicates without speaking so non-verbal communication means to communicate uh, with other people uh, with other people by the sign by the sign language you may say sign language so it includes gesture facial expressions body movement gesture so the body movement here includes uh, you may say the gesture postures so all this includes in the non-verbal communication so the communicates with non-verbal cues so yeah so the so the sound is not used here in non-verbal communication so only the sign language is used to communicate with the people in non-verbal communication so it between people through non-verbal or visual cues so non-verbal cues mean facial expressions body language gesture postures so these are the uh, non-verbal cues or visual cues be a non-verbal um, activities and the visual cues like pictures diagram these are called the visual cues so through these methods through the communication through this method it's called non-verbal communications now look at the difference between verbal and non-verbal uh, communication so the first one uh, the communication based on words the communication based on words is verbal communication so on the other hand communication based on sign not on word each non-verbal communication so the communication based on uh, words based on words based on sounds each verbal communication on the other hand the communication based on sign language not on words each non-verbal communication so the communications with words verbal communications communications with sign language non-verbal communications look at the number two difference number two there is no chance of misunderstanding there is no chance of misunderstanding in verbal communications Conversely, the chance of misunderstanding is there in non-verbal communication. So, there is no chance of misunderstanding in non-verbal communication because both the persons communicate with each other with the uh, with the help of words, with the help of sounds. So, there is no chance of misunderstanding between the but between the receiver and the sender. But conversely, the chance of misunderstanding is there in non-verbal communication because a particular persons if a particular person convey some message to the if if the sender wants to convey some message with non-verbal communications by using non-verbal communication so he has to use uh, non-verbal signs so if the receiver cannot understand the cues cannot understand the meaning of the sign so the uh, therefore the non-verbal communications may fail to achieve its uh, goal so therefore there is me understanding there the so there is much understanding in the non verbal communications because if the sender wants to convey some some things and receiver may get something uh, something uh, other something so he can get something wrong so in this way it, it miscommunicate so there there may miss there uh, exist misunderstanding in non verbal communications that Keep in mind here. Keep in mind that here in non-verbal communications, the sender, if the sender wants to convey something through the non-verbal cues, through the sign, and uh, it and uh, receiver may get something, something wrong, something other. So there is mis, so there exists misunderstanding in non-verbal communications. 
Now look at the uh, three. The verbal communications, uh, verbal communication, the in verbal communication, the interchange of message is very fast, which leads to rapid feedback. In opposition to these, the non-verbal communications is based on understanding which takes time, and therefore it is slow and time-consuming. So, uh, in uh, number three, so the interchange of message in verbal communication is rapid, is very fast, and also gets a rapid feedback because this communication is uh, based on uh, the words, based on the sound. So, there come rapid feedback. But in non-verbal communications, they are uh, uh, based on understanding. The communication that is based on understanding. Uh, they have the sender uh, wants to convey something through the sign, through the sign. It may be the facial expressions, it may be the, uh, it may be the gestures, posture. So, here, the receiver has to understand through the through his gesture postures the meaning what the sender wants to convey to him so it's time consuming also it's take time therefore it's slow now look at the four the verbal communication fulfills most natural desire of human being that is talk so the verbal communication fulfills most important natural desire of human being that is talk the natural desire of human being is talk to speak so it fulfills in verbal communication but or non-verbal communication does not fulfill this human being. So in non-verbal communications, uh, the sender and receiver communicate with each other in uh, through uh, through the sign language. So uh, so they cannot use uh, speaking. They cannot use words. So the human desire of human desire that is talk is not used in the non-verbal communications. Now look at the five. In non-verbal communication, the presence of both the parties at the same place of communications is not necessary. On the other hand, for effective non-verbal communications, both the parties must be there at the time of communication. So, in uh, defense number five, in verbal communications, there is no need to present at the same place of communications because if a sender wants to convey something to the receiver. Uh, to the receiver he may convey his message or he may transmit his message through mail through phone so there no need to present uh, uh, both the parties at the same place but on the non on the other hand for an effective non-verbal communications both the parties must be there at the time of communications because in in non-verbal communications if a sender wants to convey something to the receiver he he, he, if he use sign language so here the receiver has to see has to see has to look at the particular sign particular sign uh, of the sender so that he can understand what the sender wants to convey to him or her so he has to look at the particular sign so the both the parties has to both the parties uh, must be there at the time of communication in non verbal communications clear now uh, look at the six in verbal communications the document revisions each maintained if the communication is formal or written but there is no con but there is no conclusive evidence is in case of uh, non-verbal communications but in verbal communications the document revisions maintained because if there is a written communication so the written document is there for an evidence but in normal but in non-verbal communications there is no evidence uh, because they communicate with sign language so there is no evidence to be kept so these six are the basic difference of verbal and non-verbal communications thank you